What is going on everybody, it's Stas here, welcome back to another video in this new setup. You may be asking yourself, Stas, is this your channel? Am I on the right channel? Yes, you are on the right channel. This is a setup and kind of a, a new dynamic that I want to start bringing to the channel in terms of making videos in front of this mic on different topics, whether it be trading topics, personal finance topics, entrepreneurship topics, investing topics, stock market, whatever it may be. I want to start bringing a different dynamic to this channel and my goal over this summer, over these next two, three months is to invest a lot more money into this YouTube channel. I actually just bought this Blue Yeti microphone, so the audio quality you guys are probably hearing right now is a huge notch up from my previous videos, and I'm actually in the process right now of revamping my office upstairs so we get a new cool background, a new setup to the channel. This is the environment I'm in right now. This room is very temporary, so I kind of just did this impromptu style, but in a couple of months, we're going to be in the new setup. And you may be asking yourself, Stas, does this mean you're steering away from, from your traditional think or swim style videos where I'm screen sharing on the laptop? And the answer to that is absolutely not. Those videos are not going anywhere. I just want to add some spice, some flavor to the channel, some different type of videos. So I do hope you all enjoy this style of video. And if you guys want me to talk about a particular topic, feel free to comment Comment that down below so I can start pumping some content out in this style. So you guys read in the title of today's video, now that that announcement is out of the way, you guys read, is YouTube passive income? Well, we're going to be talking about that in today's video as well as me giving some personal examples from my YouTube channel of videos that I actually consider passive income. So the short answer to this is... No, I do not consider YouTube passive income. A lot of people out there in the YouTube community, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably watched some of these people. They think that YouTube is passive income. Some some of people don't think it's passive income whatsoever. And some people are in the middle, which is where I'm personally at. I don't think it's completely um, a source of passive income because what do you have to do as a YouTube creator? You have to continuously put in your time to the channel and make videos on a regular basis for your channel to continue to grow and for you to continue to make money. And for those of you guys that know what passive income is, you know, it, it's a source of income that you're not putting your time into, right? And a huge myth about passive income, let's just get that out of the way right now, is that passive income is you sitting on the beach, sipping tequila, sipping a margarita, and then money's just coming into your bank account without you doing anything, right? Without you doing anything any amount of work. And that is the biggest myth out there, guys. Passive income, you have to put in a ton of work up front, whether it be a year, three years, five years, a decade, before you start to reap the benefits, the reward of that work, which is passive income. So YouTube... You know, a lot of you guys that follow me, you know I post a video pretty much every single week, right? And this is obviously me giving up my time, which is why I don't consider it passive income fully. But there are some videos that I've produced a couple of months ago that steadily bring me revenue on a month-to-month -month basis with me literally doing no work. And those are what I consider passive income videos. So you guys can kind of see why I'm on both sides of the spectrum right here in a sense that YouTube does require some active time with me uploading videos day after day after day, but it also provides a stream of income from previous videos that did well, that continue to do well, where I'm getting a nice piece of money that I'm really not doing anything for at this uh, particular time period, which is why I really love YouTube and creating videos, and it's just an awesome experience, guys. So all in all, you know, it's not passive income whatsoever. It's not. If I just stopped doing YouTube right now, if I just stopped making videos, guys, my channel will just dwindle away and I'll slowly stop making money from it uh, completely. So 
that's kind of my answer on this, my quick little four or five minute answer. Now let's hop into my computer on a screen share and let's take a look at two videos in particular that I personally think are considered passive income from my YouTube channel. We can see when I uploaded those videos and how much money I've made from those videos month after month after month. And you'll see, although the money is kind of dying down month over month over month, Month, it's still money that's coming in that I really haven't done any work for since the time that I uploaded the video, which was a couple of months ago. So let's just hop right into the computer, guys. All right, guys. So this is one of the videos that I've made in the past that has generated me a nice amount of monthly income that I've literally done nothing for since I've uploaded this video. And you guys can see, I actually uploaded this video on July 18th, 2018. That's nearly one year ago since we're in June of 2019 right now. And if you guys want to see how much I made, well, I made $33 in the month of May from this video. And again, I've literally done nothing uh, but just keep this video live on the YouTube platform. You guys can see if we do a different date here, let's say we do four slash one so we can see how much I made in April. We go to four slash uh, one to four slash 31. I'm sure there's not 31 days in uh, April. There's 30 days in April. Let's see how much money I made <clears throat> in April. So we can see in April, I actually had a better month with this video. I made $46.47. And this kind of goes into what I said earlier in this video. If you don't continue to feed the YouTube algorithm, if you don't continue to pump out content, your channel is going to dwindle. And although I have been making content, um, this video is old. And if a video is old over time, it does start to dwindle, which again leads me back to my point of you continuously uploading videos. So a new video will take over as uh, a passive income source as others start to dwindle. So there are other videos that I've made um, uh, after this that continue to feed me passive income. So this from four slash one, uh, the whole month of April, I made $46. Okay, let's take a look and see how much did I make in the month of March. Let's see if it was more. I actually, I really don't know. Honestly, guys, let's take a look together here. So March 31st, the month of March, I made $50. Okay, see, I made more money in March. So over time, guys, this video has made me, if we do one more month to kind of get a better uh, selection of data here, this video probably has made me on average about $35 to $45 per month, probably more close to $40 per month. And let's take a look. February, it was probably a bit less since February does have only 28 days in the month. Let's say probably $40. Nope, $50. So you guys can see over the span of a couple of months, $50, $50, $30, $45, literally from not doing any work. And if we just go to the lifetime of the video here, uh, why not? I've made $230. And again, you guys can see the revenue is slowly starting to taper off over time, making about 75 cents to like $2 per day on this video on average. So another video that's done very well for me is this Robin Hood versus TD Ameritrade video that I made pretty much just breaking down the two platforms and talking about which one's better for different people in 2019. And you guys can see last month I saw or experienced 15,000 uh, minutes of watch time on this video, six minutes and 26 seconds average view duration, but that obviously doesn't matter. You guys don't care about that. Let's take a look at how much money this video made me in the month of May. Let's go down. 66 dollars guys in this video I actually made a couple of months after that think or swim scanner video about four or five months after and this kind of took the torch of the passive income video from that think or swim scanner video because it was dwindling a little bit then I made this one which kind of pumped up the passive income the true passive income for my channel up a bit and we can see 66 dollars a month that literally pays for my gym membership 
and some gas here and there, right? That's pretty good, right? For literally not doing anything over the past couple of months. So in the month of May, $66. Let's take a look and see how it did in the month of April because, again, I really don't know. This is a live reaction. I don't recall how much I made in the month of April from this one video, and I don't even know if I checked before, honestly, guys. Let's just take a look here. Live uh, April month, let's take a look. It was $76 of passive, true passive income in the month of April from this one video. So you guys can see, you know, the power of YouTube. If you literally have one of these videos about a more broad topic that takes off, it can literally pay some of your bills for a couple of months for the life of the video. But again, it dwindles over time. I doubt that this video is going to be making me money in three years, right? There's no way in my mind that I'll be making money on this video. I doubt it, right? Who knows? I may be wrong, but I don't think so, right? Because things evolve, the platforms in three years, the Robinhood TD, they're going to be different most likely, right? Let's take a look. The month of March, before I do end off this video, how much did I make? 3 slash 1 slash 19, the month of March has 31 days, okay, let's take a look, I bet you it's more than that, it's less than that, $65 here still, that's very nice, that pays for my gym membership, that pays for some gas, some groceries here and there, that's really nice, right, so the whole idea, you know, of this video, again, it's just not, it's not me flaunting uh, anything here, guys, I'm just letting you know and giving you my perspective on how much money I've made through some videos that I personally think are passive income on my YouTube channel and my perspective on the whole topic of is YouTube considered passive income, because again, I don't really think it's fully passive income. I think it's kind of 50-50. You know, if you have videos like these that make you money without you doing anything after uploading them, that is passive income in my personal opinion. But the videos that I'm pumping out every single day, those are not passive income because typically those videos, they don't really get many views after a couple of days of uh me uploading them because the, the way my channel is, I make stock market videos on that particular day of the performance of the stock market, and those typically don't get a lot of views after I upload them, but ones like these, the, the broader topic videos, they do get more views over time, and I've been focusing on ha kind of having a mix on my channel, right? I like doing the stock market videos day-to-day, -day, updating you guys what's going on. I like doing personal finance videos, videos of broader topics in the stock market, maybe brokerages, you know, stocks individually, stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you all enjoy the new quality of the sound here. I actually tested it before. It sounds a lot better in my personal opinion. This was well worth the investment. I would love to know what you guys personally think about the quality. And again, my office upstairs should be done here after the summer. That's that's going to be a pretty awesome uh, place to shoot videos, and I'm really excited to do that. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to go down below and hit the like button. Let me know what you guys think about this, your opinion in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.